Tiny particles, known as atoms, are the building blocks of matter. We all know that this theory was developed in the 19th century through experiments. However, many are unaware that someone talked about it 2,500 years ago. It was the ancient Greek philosopher and polymath, Democritus. He stated that everything in the universe is composed of tiny particles called atoms, differing in shape, size, and arrangement, leading to the various forms and substances found in the world. However, these early ideas were philosophical because the ancient Greeks lacked the experimental tools to validate them empirically. Democritus, the pre-Socratic philosopher, was born around 460 BC in Abdera, an ancient town in northeastern Greece. His philosophy, referred to as atomism, explained natural phenomena through the interactions and movements of atoms in the empty space or void. Democritus is often described as a curious thinker, driven by a persistent pursuit of knowledge and a deep sense of wonder about the natural world. He wrote over 70 works on ethics, mathematics, astronomy, and natural philosophy. Unfortunately, only fragments of his writings have survived through the works of later philosophers like Aristotle and Plato. Democritus is often credited with the development of atomism. While it is believed that he may have been influenced by the ideas of his teacher Leucippus, there is very limited surviving literature about Leucippus. It's worth mentioning that this theory is so similar to modern scientific concepts. The origin of the ancient hypothesis is not well understood. Likely Democritus made observations of the natural world, such as the behavior of matter and the properties of substances. He then used his observations and logical reasoning to propose the existence of atoms as the fundamental building blocks of matter. The atomistic void hypothesis was a response to the paradoxes presented by philosophers Parmenides and Zeno, who argued against the possibility of motion. They claimed that for anything to move, there must be a void, but a void was considered impossible as it would be nothingness. The atomists, led by Democritus, dismissed Parmenides' argument because they observed motion in the physical world. They believed in the existence of tiny, indivisible particles called atoms and proposed that a void must exist for motion to occur. Democritus suggested that the universe initially consisted of chaotic atoms, which collided to form larger structures, including the Earth. He proposed the existence of many worlds, some growing and others decaying, with various characteristics. He believed that each world had a beginning and end, and that a collision with another world could lead to its destruction. The atomic theory suggested a materialistic view of the universe, where everything could be explained by the motion and arrangement of atoms in the void. This perspective challenged the mystical and mythological explanations of the time. Democritus's contributions to philosophy and science have left an enduring legacy. He reshaped ancient Greek thought with his atomic theory, and his impact on science and philosophy is limitless. His legacy continues to influence our understanding of the universe today.